This is the Army Today. The military honors America's last living World War I veteran. I'm George McNamara. 107-year-old Frank Buckles was the center of attention as defense officials unveiled a new World War I veterans portrait exhibit. I feel honored to be your humble representative of World War I. Photographer David DeYoung donated the nine portraits for permanent display in the Pentagon, calling his subjects American icons. Icons that walked, fought, and experienced one of the most evil wars this planet has seen. Icons that stood their ground so that each of us could be here today. These icons were the last gatekeepers of the first-hand accounts of a war that formed the future of war. Secretary of the Army Pete Guerin said the exhibit will be a lasting reminder of those who served in the Great War. For those of us here today, we will forever put the face of Corporal Buckles on the Great War. And the nine wrinkled and aged faces so masterfully captured by the artistry of our photographer David DeYoung. And when we put a human face on a heretofore faceless war, we are reminded and convicted of the personal debt that each of us owes to those who have secured the blessings of our liberty. Seven of the nine featured veterans died in the past year. But for Frank Buckles, life goes on, the last American representative of a generation of veterans who served their nation the best that they could. That's the Army Today from the Soldiers Media Center in Washington. For the latest military news and information, go online at army.mil.